will be a oh, there you go. We talked about the Pangos. Yeah, we the, did. the brood killer. The, Pangos the very killer. good against Mars as well. It's not the best lane. They always value to be able to push waves out if real quick top lane. Tried to jump at him. Unfortunately, the Bramble's gotten his way. He couldn't get off the stun. Snaking's definitely dead here. That's going to be your first blood. Wow. No-Tail picks up that one. See if No-Tail can actually get out here. It's not looking so hot for him. So he will get traded out most likely. Oh, healing self, and he's actually fine. And he's getting so much passive health regen as well just by sitting in a web. Oh, whoa, Thompson. Yeah, he's going to go for it. He hit his level six nice and early. Nine, he's going to get this kill on Thompson unless Thompson can somehow stop this. He kills a creep to get level six, to get the Rolling Thunder off, and now nine. He's going to be the one potentially dying here as Thompson. Looking for a potential angle here. He is not going to hit him with the last one, but he does have the swashbuckle, times it up, wow. and the shield crash finishes him off. Unbelievable play from Thompson. The situational awareness there. Well, the what would you call them? The swashbuckles on shield crash? The shield crash buckles? No clue. Either way. It's going to be effective potentially here as Nine is going to be using his first BKB. The Ice Blast is coming in. It's going to be able to hit uh, No Tail on the side. They're still trying to finish up Socks, and eventually he does die. The BKB wears out, and now Thompson is a little effective. Brings the Mars kind of low. No Tail is just a sliver of HP. 33 is uh, able to go up the cliff there to be able to dodge some of the damage coming in from Anna as well as Thompson. They're trying to chase down the rest, though. Seb, he will just comes in and starts swinging immediately. They're managing to kill Nine. Skeeter, he's going to be chased after. Nice little juke by him, jump it over to Fauna as fast as possible. Anna's oh, quite low, careful. and they could potentially kill him. The Crimson Guard's gonna go out. 33, chasing after him underneath the webs. Tries to be able to catch the real one, and Doppelgangers, can he find the real one now? He actually does, and 33 kills him. He sniffs him out, finds the real Phantom Lancer, and brings him down. Skeeter still playing the edge of the team fight here. As 33, not sure if he's going to be chased down or not, and he is. He's got another web coming up in a second. The Ice Blast coming in hot, though. They could potentially turn this even as oh. three. The disruption to dodge the nuke onto the Centaur, and I don't think he's going to tick out here. Oh, that he's going to be perfectly fine. Uh, I always find impressive about any team who's able to yeah. do this. I love it. Oh, hang on. Thompson, they're going to try and blow him up as quick as possible. The initiation, the terrorize is going to be too late. It hits Mars and it hits the PA, and they're still going to go Whoa. for a three-man stop. And it's in there. They've already taken out the support. The BKB is going to be popped by nine. Turns around, God's Rebuke looking for an opportunity here with the BKB wearing out to hit his spear. He does. He managed to get Soxa with a Broodmother behind him. They should be able to gobble him up. Soxa, he turns around. He's living with just a sliver of HP, and he dies, but it doesn't matter. He executed all of his spells onto the Broodmother, so Brood dies. 33 is out for 60 seconds and Tundra. Like, you have an army at all times. Doppelgangering forward, finding Fada. Nine still hiding in the trees here, but they can't do anything unless, oh, okay, a spear thrown out, but the tier three is already dead, and now Nine is in some trouble here. He's gonna try and walk his way out of this one. Curse Crown is gonna make this a lot harder for him, especially with all those illusions. He's gonna try and scoot on through, but instead they go for snaking, and it's just gonna keep on going for the sports whenever they show themselves outside of the fountain. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, Kyle. It's, it's it's a Phantom Lancer, and it's OG. I feel like there's some fountain farming coming soon. Yeah, this is just, it's insane. The game's just suddenly out of control. We've got a great initiation here, an opportunity to be able to catch him. Tundra finally back up is five. They're gonna go for a four-man smoke See if they can catch the backline. Soulbite does manage to latch in. Thompson, though, already gone magic immune. And Seb going to be saved by Soxa with the disruption. Once again, the initiation, it's all gone away. Tundra, they thought they had an opening, and it's completely out. Anna's demolishing the backline here. Snaking to die so fast. He turns back, finishes up the Mars. Nice and easy. No Tail hasn't even used his Terrorize until just now to be able to control up the Broodmother for a little bit longer. And Tundra, yeah, you need to get out of the game now because Anna is certainly going to be running at your throat now i have just clinical and oh, of course what would a what would an og game be without that man in the fountain and of course a big smile from thompson just up you only have two bands left they'll go for the pango a nine okay. did get a lot of recognition okay. for his pango play that's true a lot of warlock a lot of, of spam healing mm -hmm. but with the right cores it, it can work Oh, there's our first blood. Soxa looks like he got found. There you go. Somewhere in the trees over here, and the Troll Ancient Apparition duo once again. Because the lane bottom is always pushing. Ana's just running in. Thompson. Catching him almost immediately. A two-man stun into the Ice Blast as well. They have the burst damage. That might just be enough. He should tick out here. Sure enough, fate. Yeah, he goes down. Thompson, he falls. Skeeter battling Thanks. it out with Anna right now. But holy crap, that was a lot of damage what? to the Sharpshooter. And immediately his ultimate wears out from there. And Bushwhack will catch nine as well again. 
It looks like for a second there, Tundra may have found an opening, but OG are always out team fighting them. It doesn't matter game one or game two. It doesn't matter what heroes. OG always seems to have the trump card when it comes to these fights. So you have to hold hands. You've got to play conservatively. It's just so frustrating. To 33. Oh my God. God a four, four man. Dump into what? a four man black hole. How did he know? He spots them out and they just crush OG what? in a definitive team fight that just might turn this whole game around for them. He's playing around with the flame breaks, burning away at him constantly, adding up the sticky napalm. Look at how long it's lasting. He's got another one coming in. He's actually going to burn down. He's going to oh. pop his ultimate to try and stay alive here. And he's going to be pulled in deep right onto No-Tail. Immediately pops his ultimate. The old steps are going up in the air. Skeeter only having healed for a little bit. Here comes Nine. They've got some reinforcements now. And Skeeter is still going to find himself possibly losing the Aegis, especially if they lose Nine Whoa. here. A black hole going out, though. Catching the two with the Ice Blast over the top. That is going to be the cores of OG. Sep even getting pulled back in. He goes for the lasso and sure grabs the Enigma, but the damage is already done. OG have lost the fight. I think they might have lost the game. Caps yeah. can't be okay. exposed. Oh, Stomp going out. 33. Anna does manage to escape this one. He hops onto the high ground. Not sure where he's going to go for. He's got to get away from nine, but they spotted him. They managed to hit him with a stun. The ice blast and Skeeter Dead. rips him apart. No tail. He's going to be up next. And now it's just a free for all. Grabbing whoever they can. Soxa on the run here. Tries to TP way inside of the trees. No such luck. The Aaron disc. It only delays the inevitable as uh, he will be dying in the forest he loves so much. Even Thompson is being chased here as they still have Black Hole. Snake King say, telling Thompson he's not going to have anything for free here. Throws it out. Thompson is still going to be found. Hoof Stomp just in time from 33 and they are going to throw down that Black Hole. They say it's worth it to be able to kill Thompson here. Another dissimulate, jumps over to the side, but uh, the actual step, even if he got it off, would only take him so far here. Tundra, so they will stall Tundra here. There's uh, no other creeps that are coming in anytime soon. 33 immediately tries to jump in. Do you manage to get the break on the troll here? But Soxa is probably still found. Whoa. Rolling Thunder doesn't actually quite land. And this is going to go off the Aphonic Shield, trying to get him into the trees as best they can. They spot him, though. The Stomp is going to land. The Abaddon and the Hoodwink are both dead. Both supports down on the side of OG. They're both going to buy back. But Thompson still needs another 20 seconds. They start their initiation on the Snake King. They got to get him out of here. Save the black hole as best as possible. Ten more seconds till Thompson's back up. You want to chill out for a second here. No Firefly up for a bit from Seb. But then again, he's got the flame break. Uh-oh, he's been spotted. They've got a war on the high ground. He's been Malfist up. Ice Blast on its way, but fortunately he was able to get away from that troll. The Bushwhack managed to control him up. Soxa, though, he just bought back, and it looks like the Hoodwink is going to be dying a secondary time here. No Tail trying to help him out as best as possible. Meanwhile, the Black Hole's being used on the side to be able to control it. The Phantom Lancer got him down to half health. Thompson's right in the middle of things. Nine immediately pops his cheese to make sure he's not going to be bursted down. But Anna, bit by bit, being worked down by 33. Now Skeeter's going to be joining into the mix. They do have another stomp that should be the finish of him. He doppelgangers up to the high ground. They get the Avonic Shield onto him, but 33 will not let him get away. Nine right on top of him as well, and the AOE damage is enough. And it goes down. Immediate buyback. OG are all in on being able to win this team fight. They finally managed to finish up the Enigma, but he didn't have Black Hole in any way. Malefice, That'll be enough to catch Seb anyway, and they have to just full out retreat. Another buyback. OG are completely out of buybacks at this point. And Anna is the last hope for him. He's got a doppelganger. He can try and get away to the trees here with no black hole and no ice blast. Can he actually win the fight? Shark bouncing over nine. He's going to be caught by the lasso. Pull back into his doom. That's one down. Tundra holding out with Skeeter and 33. Anna and Seb on hot pursuit, just keeping their distance, but keeping the damage going. Skeeter using that dispel and immediately managed to get a bash onto Thompson. The buyback is gonna come in from nine here. As he approaches the outpost, he's got a way to be able to join the fight. They're looking now to be able to catch OG, but they're on the retreat. Slowed down just a little bit by the lucky shot. He's going to jump to the high ground, but nine will pursue. Rolling Thunder's in. Catch them. 33's right there as well with the stomp immediately following. Another Rolling Thunder. Another one potentially to follow it. Even after that, Skeeter, they're trying to find the real one. Anna uh, trying to be as deceptive oh. as possible. Leading Illusion away. That is actually the wrong one. They turn around realize the real one's somewhere around here, but he's got a fresh doppelganger up. But the Illusions, they just get wiped out almost immediately as now. Anna is going to be dying here unless the doppelganger right to the side. Can Thompson bail him out? 33 gets the Stop. A little bit more damage, and that's it. Dead for two minutes. The carry of OG gone. Thompson immediately. The GG is called. This Thompson, he'll die as well. Skater 
having a great time as they do manage to bring down OG after uh, what has definitely been a little bit of pregame tension between these two squads. And a Bloodseeker coming out. Do we like this? Is it mid Bloodseeker? Looks to like it is. Pop some Bloodseeker. Yeah. I think the hero matchups are less impactful than the position it was picked. And oh, oh my, what? Topson. That shouldn't happen. Yeah, getting the outplay in the mid lane. Uh, very literally even on net worth. So they're going to be able to find Thompson onto the low ground here. The Ravage immediately used it. It caught no tail. He's still going to be able to get off at least the Fate Edict to be able to stop away some of the magic damage. He's actually getting away with all that movement speed. Skeeter, he can't possibly keep up. Nine's going to be silenced, so Soxa goes in for the kill here. Oh. Last bit of damage. He TPs out extra style points for Soxa. He managed to get away there. 33 in trouble. Anna looking to be able to chase him down. The burn oh. damage bit by Finn. Oh. oh, no tail. He finished them off with the Purifying Flames. Now Snake King. He's going to be caught by the Purge as well. That is Fortune so does sick. not end well here for Tundra. They need to play near perfectly. And they have to get No Tail. And that's why they're re-smoking. They're going to fight this initiation. No Tail. He's going to be silenced up oh. almost immediately here. The Fate Phoenix is going out. The Stampede trying to get him away. Now, OG, are they going to try and fight this for No Tail's no life? Infest. It looks like they will. No one fessed up. Skeeter stuck by this rupture, and it's going to start beating on him. They do have the rage. Terrorize being forced down time and time again. Skeeter trying to get out of the blood right now. He's going to be okay. The Centaur, they're going to start focusing on him. The Ice Blast does bring oh. him down. OG playing the edges here. Xana now commits to the team fight. The Ravager going down, but doesn't actually stop Anna, but it does kill No Tail. The Terrorize beautifully placed. They do have nice brambles. Yule Scepter is going to go off. Does he have it to simulate? Nine. He's going to throw out a little bit of a stun onto Anna, but they're chasing, and Anna's building up that damage bit by bit. Thompson. He needs to be able to play in and out constantly, but Soxa doesn't have that luxury. It looks like Thompson's still going for it, but it looks like maybe he read oh. it. He misread it again. He thought he could go for the kill on nine, but he's just about 100 damage short. But Skeeter is just about to join them. Seb, he spots him. Seb, not going to be able to get the blink initiation. Nine sets it up. Nice. Say we silence. He immediately goes for no tail. Meanwhile, Soxa's already dead. He immediately buys back. Oh, a beautiful damage. Ravage on the four. They're gunning for no tail. No tail's down first. They turn around. Start banging onto Anna. Anna pops his BKB. Shadow Dance. He wants to be able to finish off nine. A four staff gets him away. He's actually good for now. They turn around. They see Thompson. Yule Scepter into the chain stun. Thompson's definitely dead here as the Terrorize is not going to be enough to save him unless. No, Thompson's gone. Nine will finish him off with a jump forward. And now it's Tundra. Thompson, nine. What was Thompson doing here? It looks like maybe he was chasing 33, but nine on the buyback is able to catch Thompson through this. Dissimulate the nuke will finish him. Meanwhile, Ice Blast onto Anna. Anna leaps away just in the nick of time. Back Bouncing back in, Seb, he sees the two-man stomp. Managed to land that one with the magic damage flowing in. They're going to go for Snake King first. Snake King would already use Ravage. Not that much of a threat, but they got to deal with Skeeter. Bash once. They got to get him out fight. of here. He doesn't have enough mana to be able to blow anything. He's going to be losing his first life for this. If they can actually catch him, they just need another bash. All right, first life down. Can they catch him a second time? Into the back line. Almost immediately. He's going to be gunning for no tail, but he has to be able to jump away. Sit immediately. Side the vice up. Down to half health. He's low. King Got Skeeter. Infest. Can he actually get away? But he actually gets the infest. The inside is snaking ever so barely. Now, it's going to be 33. An ice blast on to three. three. Really well set up. Well, nine. He's feeding into no tail, trying to finish him off, forcing the false promise on himself. So it's not there to be able to save the, the Bloodseeker right now, who's going to be chased down. He's finished off by the Ancient Apparition. Anna, right in the middle of four, is going to turn around. But Aeontis, they're also tanky. He's not doing the damage fast. Fast enough, he needs to be able to jump down to the river, but Snake King's there. Gets in front of him, denies him an exit. Now, Seb, he's going to fall as well. No buybacks on the side of OG and Tundra. Clearing through hero after hero. Seek and destroy is their mission. They're going to hunt down every single one of OG's members. And it's looking like, Kyle, game three. It may not be Tundra's immediately. But they are looking damn, damn good to finish this series up. That was absolutely insane. Skeeter just that perfect infest when he by the time 3-3 three, three dies, he's full HP again. I mean, the support's by Mac. What are you guys gonna do? They're going for throne. Yeah, go for the W here. Yeah, go for the W. And immediately Soxa tries to show himself to kill a creep wave. He has no and Tantra say, no. We know exactly what you need to do to stall this game out. You need backdoor protection to go back up. No way in hell we're going to allow that. Skeeter, meanwhile, focuses on the objectives for them as the building hitter. A tier four that's left, it. but that's it. No Tail calls it OG. They will drop down here in this game three. Tundra, a huge victory for them. They are now two and two in their second season here of the DPC.